so we're in Microsoft Word and this is a table we've created and we want to get save this table as a, a graphics file so that we can use it in our uh, video editing program. So all I'm going to do is go to file and then uh, print and if you've got Snagit on your system choose Snagit and then print and it's going to open up uh, Snagit and here the uh, file is and all we have to do now is to save it and we're going to save it as uh, this one right here which I've previously done and we'll just save right over it and confirm yes now I can, I'm done with Snagit I can go ahead and, and close it so now I'll just open up uh, Photoshop and we're going to open that file which was this one here and there it is and then we're going to use our magic wand tool this one here and if we just click on any white space it'll select all the white with exception to what's inside of the table here and then just hit the delete key and uh, control D to unselect un uh, everything. So now all we have to do is resize the canvas here to match uh, as close as we can to the actual table itself. So we're going to switch over to our selection tool and uh, I like to just drag this uh, uh, down to about the center and then we're simply going to go image oops I have to click off of it I guess apply the transformation there we go and then uh, click off and then we're going to do canvas size and I happen to know in advance I want 10.2 by 2 inches and click OK and it's going to give me a warning that the uh, canvas uh, could be smaller it's going to be smaller than the original canvas so we might lose some of our image and um, so as you can see some of the images outside of the canvas so if we scroll in a little bit make it easier to work I can simply hit the down arrow and make it come down back into view and there we go and off to the left it's looking kind of close to the edge so I'll just hit the right arrow and that looks pretty doggone close now all we have to do is just go file save or save as or save for web and devices we're going to do save for web and devices I'll leave it to a PNG format and um, even though it says no transparency dither uh, we do have transparency checked and we're going to click save and this is the file I'm just going to overwrite the previous one that I did and we're going to put a underscore trans there trans uh, short for transparency and click replace it and so we can get rid of Photoshop and Word and so here is our file that we just created and let's go ahead and bring this in into our video editing program so I'm just gonna grab this one here drag and drop it onto the timeline and click over here and you can see if I undock this and resize this a little bit there we go that it came through really nice as a nice graphics image and so now I can resize it within um, Vegas um, and use pan and crop or whatever I want to do to this particular image. Mm -hmm.